hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing by now it would have been no news that we are expecting we are thrilled we are overjoyed we are over the moon excited to get to meet our bundle of joy we will be here um just sometime next year so yeah we are spending christmas without him or her but basically um you guys also know that i live in dubai yes dubai is this very fancy city is this very luxurious city is this very uh, picture perfect city but there are some things every woman man couple need to know before they um, think of getting pregnant in dubai yes because trust me huh, this place comes with its fair share of um restrictions or just some basic um, information that you need to know and the first of these things is you need to be married before getting pregnant in dubai fine they will not control your in your intimate life your sex life if um you're getting intimate without being married just boyfriend girlfriend living together that's nobody's business cool you wouldn't uh, have trouble with the authorities the moment you get pregnant and you're not married you've not got a certificate a marriage certificate to show for that sis you would find yourself in jail like on a serious note you may probably give birth to that child in jail they seriously frown against um give having uh getting pregnant or having kids when you're not married in Dubai. If you happen to get pregnant here, yeah, you may have to leave the country before you get uh, before you get caught. Or you may have to leave the country before the pregnancy advances. So that's something you need to know if you're thinking of getting pregnant in Dubai. It is really, really important. Um, so you avoid landing yourself in jail out of ignorance. Another thing that you're supposed to make sure that you check in Dubai is to check your insurance. So let's say in, you're not even working in Dubai. Wow, it becomes very complicated. Except um, your partner's insurance covers you, but let's say you don't have, you're not covered. You're not, in, you're not uh, medically covered. You're not insured. Oh my God, the bills are going to kill you. The maternity, um, the maternity checkups and everything are going to kill you. You need to check your insurance. You need to, and second again even if you have an insurance make sure just double check just to be sure that it covers the maternity checks maybe it covers the birth check what it covers and what it doesn't so you're prepared for that you shouldn't you don't get pregnant when your maternity when your insurance is maybe a, a category that doesn't cover maternity leave doesn't cover birth i wouldn't oh my god it's very very stressful it's going to stress the hell out of you of course except you're real like except you're rich or you're financially really really stable then you have nothing to worry about another thing about dubai that you need to make sure you've thought about and you know found gotten information about is the child's passport if you're not married to an emirati an emirati is a, uh, a citizen of the uae if you're not married to an emirati your child is not going to have the nationality. They don't give out that nationality, okay? So you need to think ahead of time about your child's passport, how you're going to organize that. So let's say, uh, for example, I'm Cameroonian. We don't have uh, an embassy, for example, in Dubai. You have to start thinking. After, after um, giving birth, are you traveling with a child to Cameroon to go make the passport? How are you organizing that? You need to organize all of these things when you're thinking of getting pregnant. Because that child needs the passport to be able to make the ID and for the visa. Be is this place is just really complicated, okay, when it comes to certain things. Be um, the child needs the passport for visa because, let's say for example, my child will go under my visa. For that child to go under my visa, the child needs to have a passport. So you need to sort that out and it can get quite stressful. And the funny thing is when you give birth, you have about, what, three months or so? To organize that so if you if you don't do that ASAP you may get into trouble and guys listen when I see people I don't I think Adana Adana I watch Adana of course she mentioned I think her maternity leave is like a year when I see people in countries where they say that maternity leave is like a year six months I'm like oh I wish like I so so wish in Dubai maternity leave is 45 days I kid you not 45 days four five so you have to organize your your 
your leave you may have to combine your annual uh, vacation or your annual leave and add to that you may have to do a lot of patchwork here and there to combine maybe to sum it up to three months or so it is really really tough i don't i i don't even know how we parents who have had children in the past do when it comes to 45 days like when did you recover when how do you even go back to work after 45 days of giving birth maybe especially if you had maybe a c-section thinking about it already stresses me out <laughs> but yeah that's something you should bear in mind if you're thinking of getting pregnant how you're going to organize your time off work after giving birth something else that some of these very adventurous moms or futuristic moms um should bear in mind is home births are not allowed you know how in the states you can organize to have your home birth in the bathtub a doula comes home to support you you have an entire medical team that comes home and you give birth naturally it's not allowed here yes there are water births in dubai but you have to go to a hospital or to a clinic or something you cannot sit in your house and say i'm going to give birth at home and all of that it is not allowed you need to find yourself in the hospital so even if i wanted a home birth <laughs> no 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 it's not happening because of course i'm based in dubai the last thing which is a positive thing. I wouldn't sit here and just go on and on about um, restrictions when it comes to giving birth in Dubai is breastfeeding. They are very, very open and welcoming to the idea of breastfeeding. The support here is brilliant. It's amazing. They encourage it. So long as you, breast, you can breastfeed in public without, you know, having all this weird look. They have all this, um, they are very supportive about breastfeeding in public so long as maybe you have a cloth to cover uh, the baby just so you are comfortable as well yes so breastfeeding in public is something that is very very much uh, encouraged in dubai so that's it i just wanted to spread this knowledge out there to share with somebody who is not aware because it's even in the bible which my people die out of ignorance no 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 you've got to know some of these things if you have not subscribed to that channel go ahead click the button is somewhere give this video a big thumbs up if it was informative if it helped you in one way or another and i'll see you guys in the next video bye